Let's take a look at it. It says, extremely dangerous, no trespassing. <laughs> wow. Didn't say that on the other side. Hey everybody, you're watching Sidestep Adventures. It's Robert, I'm out here with Cody and Brian. And today we're going on a whole new adventure, exploring a section of abandoned railroad tracks. So come along with us, don't know what we're gonna find, but should find something cool. Otherwise, it's a beautiful day for a walk in Georgia, in the heat. It's actually not too hot today. No, it's essentially uh, a lot less sweaty than I would have expected. Yeah, it is. Here's some blackberries from the beauty shop. Before I eat this blackberry. Go ahead, eat it. I'm about to eat some of them. Blackberries, y'all. Well, those are all oh, tart, half delicious. red. There we go. Oh, sweet. Those are good. The first two were super tart. The last one was super sweet, though. Mm. You just never know. With blackberries, it's kind of a crap shoot. Yeah. Oh yeah. And sometimes they're sweet and tart. So one of my subscribers a while back told me on another railroad video I did that you could look at the rails and get a date from them. So I know that this is the uh, a part of the Central of Georgia rail line, and it's been here since the late 1800s. And the rails are marked, and there's a date on them. So the complete marking is uh, 11525 RE C, looks like CC, Tennessee, USA, 1950. So I guess that means that the uh, rails were redone in the 50s, 1950s. And this... To lay rails. Can you imagine having to pull up rails and then lay new, new rails? Yeah. And that was back when they didn't have machines to do all the uh, all the work, yeah, you know. It was straight up John Henry stuff. Yeah, especially in the 1800s. I don't know about the 50s, they may have started to have machines and stuff to do it. But these tracks have been abandoned for about 20 years now, I think. Yeah, they're really growing up. Also got to watch out for snakes. This is a good area for snakes. I think those are uh, either wild grapes or muscadines. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Here's an old sign marker for the railroad. Oh, cool. I'm not a railroad expert, so I don't know what it means, but uh, looks like it just says zero on it. Just looks like it would have said 30. There's part of it oh, yeah. right there. And it's probably made a pretty good target. There's something down there. Let's go down there and take a look at it real quick. Just watch out for snakes. Don't have my uh, snake stick with me. So just gotta walk loudly. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, that's too short. Just a concrete beam with no real uh, real significance that I know right off. Although it is, uh, it's actually kind of, it's got some style to it. See it's square down there then has uh, that design on it on all four corners. Oh yeah, and it's angled up here. And there's some...
I wonder if this was an old sign marker because that's that's what it looks like to me. I bet you've got some engravings on one side of it. Which we are highly unlikely to see today. <laughs> yeah. It was probably the sign that maybe replaced that one up there mm -hmm. at some point, but that's pretty cool. There's some more signs of human activity over here. Some paint cans. It almost looks like a road right here. It could have been a railroad service road or something. See? Yeah, it could have been. It also could have been just a straight up road. Yeah. That's the thing with all these little, these little nooks and crannies of these counties, is that there are roads that have been disused for so long that, like, you can see them, but like it's way beyond being able to tell what they were used for. Yeah. Look how high up we've gotten. See how far down it is down there? Oh, yeah. And look at the, uh, the roadside. Wow. See, there's, there's the road. You might be able to see it on video right there if you look real close. Uh, that's the road we drove in on, which is actually also a, uh, an old road that's closed down now. So I told you this was an old uh, line of Central Georgia Railroad. And also there were a couple settlements, or more like railroad stops, along this very path of railroad. So we're keeping an eye out in the woods for anything like that. I don't know how big the uh, settlements were, I just found them on old maps. But looking at Google Maps now, the satellite view, you can't see anything but trees. So we might find some old signs of human life other than the paint cans, hopefully so. Just got to keep our eyes in the woods. This is a really beautiful day for a walk though. It's not too hot. It's been pretty warm here warm and humid here in Georgia but today's not too bad it's interesting how you can go up such a high hill and then be below the hill that quickly it's like without even knowing it and suddenly you're so many feet up over the road and I guess it's just a rolling landscape, but I think it's cool. All right, well, I'm gonna turn the camera off and I'll turn it back on. We get a little bit further down or if we see anything interesting. All right, we got off the trail for a minute. We spotted this clearing alongside the tracks. Thought we'd come up here and check it out. Most of this is logging land, as you can probably tell by the pine trees. Oh, well, that's different. A whole different kind of soil in this spot. I wonder if this is burned. I don't know, it's probably a pretty big embankment for a building. Yeah, There's no sign on the ground or anything. No. Pretty steep embankment, that is. But they could have, when they, when they clear cut the area, and the trees that they weren't going to use could have piled them here and lit them on fire, maybe. Something makes the ground look different there.
back in that back just this way was is where the cluster of trees was it was like something might have been there at one time this is a pretty interesting area though This is one of the reasons we got off the tracks in the first place, other than the unusual clearing up there. It's one of these, these are typically found around home sites. Yeah, I would be willing to bet there used to be something here. Yeah. All right, back to the tracks. Already got got by one of these. We got tick repellent on too. About to end his life though. Oh wow, that's no railroad tie. Well, that is definitely not a railroad tie. There's another one. one right here too, then. Yeah, and there's another one over there. Where's the other one at? Over here, smaller one. Oh, one over there. Can you wash up against that tree? And there's one right over there. Where Closer to the size of the road. All right, that one I would say is a railroad tie. That's definitely a railroad tie right there. Let's take a closer look at these other ones. By the way, I just pulled a tick off the back of my neck while you were down here. You see any on the back of my neck, do you? Let's look together. No. Yeah. So that's a pretty cool sign of life right here. It does look like it had something to do with the railroad. Because yeah. look at this. This is a... Uh, Almost like it would have been uh, where the rail goes. Oh, yeah. You see cut out right there. It's definitely bigger than your average railroad tie. Well, and then that's pretty cool right there. What? This is part of a bridge. I'd be willing to bet you this is part of a bridge. These yeah. Gigantic beams and look at the... Could be. I'd definitely say the pile of rocks has something to do with the railroad. Yeah. Definitely got to watch out for snakes up here. It's another thicket of vines.
Hey Brian, yeah. I think I found your bridge that the uh, pieces of wood came from. Yeah. We're at a railroad bridge right now. Ooh. Yeah, because those timbers are probably about the size of those ones in the woods. And uh, yep. this bridge was probably replaced at some time. All right, be careful, guys. Be very careful. Jump up and down. All right. This is really cool. Kind of scary right now, but really cool. A couple hundred feet up in there. Oh, that was <laughs> that was scary. Super scary when you're uh, step on something and when you're up in the air and it just gives out from under you. So I'm walking along this metal beam right here. Fairly long bridge. It is a long bridge and it's fairly high up. You can see the ground down there. Yeah, it is. So if you've watched, so if you've watched my uh, videos before, you may remember that I have a fear of heights. Well, that's definitely kicking in right now, especially with all this rotten wood up here. But it's also really cool. There's the creek right down there. I wonder if there's going to be a way to get down to the creek. I hope so. Other than jumping, Cody. I said other than just jumping, Cody. Almost to the end. And hopefully I can walk down to the creek and show you what this looks like from the side. And uh, stop being a stop being a chicken. So every time that I stop walking, and I know this is like nothing for some of you guys out there. Every time I stop walking, it's because I step on a soggy beam. Probably like that one right there. Yeah, I was just talking about that, and there's a crumbled one up here, so step over it. We're almost there. We are almost there. Look at that. That one's completely rotten right there. There's another bad one I just stepped over, so watch out. Be careful.
here's a here's a really bad one up here there's a lizard there's a lizard oh he didn't want to be seen on camera all right there's one that's completely gone right here so watch out don't step on it and there's there's two that are completely gone right here so I know there's a metal beam under there so I'll just step there and there and there all right it wasn't so bad let me film these I'm at the end of the bridge so whoo let me film these chickens coming over here well, Brian's gonna take a picture real quick That wasn't so bad now that we're over it. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad because it's like our little peeny weight ain't gonna make the thing fall. Well, I don't know. You know, I would say our little peeny weight ain't gonna make the thing fall, but then you've got cross ties that are just gone like those right there. Yeah. Well, yeah, a, a cross tie might fall, but not the... Yeah, not the whole bridge. There you go. Sticks are indispensable. All right, so now... We need to see if we can get down to the bridge. There's another sign up here. Let's take a look at it. It says, extremely dangerous, no trespassing. <laughs> wow. Didn't say that on the other side. Wow, this is cool. So awesome. Look how thick those beams are. Yeah. That's some serious iron right there. Yeah. Alright, let me look at the ground for snakes real quick and let me make y'all look with me. Somebody's gonna say we're crazy for being down here. And those people are probably right. Why, because of snakes? Yeah, pretty much. Snakes don't worry me too much. I keep an eye out for them, but uh, they generally just want to get out of your way. Yeah, they don't really want anything to do with people. It's just if you step on one, then it gets sketchy. Wow, that is a cool bridge, man. It's amazing how much cooler it looks from down here. Yeah. So I think I see remnants of the old bridge, probably parts and pieces of which you found in the woods, Brian. Oh, Let me yeah. watch my feet. Man, you can't get away from human trash, even in the middle of the woods. I wonder how the, uh, those beams got way up there, though. Probably carried them off on the uh, railroad cars. See, that's probably the footings for the original 1800s bridge. Yeah. Late 1800s bridge. Brian mentioned this earlier if you didn't hear him there's a just a half submerged piece of iron right there as Brian said and lots of the usual stuff you find around railroad tracks oh we all had spike right there yeah and a big old piece of iron right there
Look at this. RC bottle. Oh, cool. Ooh, we haven't heard from RC in a while. Do they even still make that? All over the shelves at your local Walmart. Really? Yeah. My first bottle on. Nice. It's pretty cool. So I think this is probably 1970s. Yeah. So 80s, maybe. Looks like the ones we used to get when I was a kid. Yeah. Cool. Still nice. I mean, one day it'll be way older than it is now. Yeah. Good eyes, Cody. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's adventure and seeing this really cool railroad bridge. I'm crossing it right now, trying to get back to the other side. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you on the next adventure. This episode of Sidestep Adventures has been sponsored in part by Blackberries.